Tyler with Diesel Laptops here to talk to you today about the new version of DTC Solutions. So this is version 2.70 released here in the uh, first week of December 2018. So if you're familiar with the software, you can already probably tell it looks a little bit different. And what looks different up here is the ability now for a VIN decoder. So a VIN decoder is something we developed here at Diesel Laptops. And you do have to be on the internet to use this function. So I can just go ahead and put my VIN number in there, hit the code, and you'll see it has all kinds of great information on it. So that one was loaded in there from the previous search. Let me go put another one in here and hit the code. And you'll see the data changed here a little bit with the VIN and I got the model. Um, I know what engine it is. I know what year it is. And that's important because what we found is people sometimes don't pick the right options over here. So if you weren't quite sure, so say you were here, you're working on your engine, and we know this as a pack car engine. And you get into here and you weren't quite sure which one do I look at. Is it the 2013 emissions or 2017 emissions? Well, you kind of always work your way up. So this is a 2014 model. So in this case, I would pick the 2013 emissions option, right? So now if I go back over to fault codes, I'm now on the correct... Uh, module in here for that particular engine that I'm working on and obviously you can flip back and forth very easily to see what's going on again if you're not familiar with what we do here with the software program we have all kinds of other options besides your quick repair information so we'll always tell you in here where you need to go to fix your code that you have and we have over 64,000 diagnostic codes in this database but if I go over here to wiring diagrams I can now also pick which one I want and again if you weren't sure if you had an MX 11 or MX 13 you can simply go over to the VIN decoder. I see what I have. I have an MX-13. Let me go pick my MX-13 engine. And there's my wiring diagram. Just kind of opened up on another window of ours. All right, so there you go. You can see everything going on uh, with that particular engine for the wiring diagram. And I can tell you in this new, <coughs> this new version of 2.7, we added a lot more to it. So if you go to Chevrolet, these were historically not in here before, but we've now added a lot of the... 48435360666 and 81 diagnostic codes and we'll be filling this out as time goes on with all the other uh, years that you see are potentially missing so 2500 HD 3500 HD they are in there you can get all your information that you're normally typically looking for uh, that you come to know and use from DTC solutions so beyond adding 25 new modules to the system, we also added a ton of new wiring diagrams and component locators. So component locators, um, for example, let's give you some good ones. <clears throat> let's go over here to International, and we will go to, how about a Max Force DT? Let's do one of those, very popular engine. And it doesn't matter which one I pick here you'll see I have a component locator. And now it's asking which year, 2010 through 13 or 2014 and newer. I'll select it, opens the PDF, and here's our component locator, which has some great uh, information on physically showing you where the component tree is located on the vehicle. So all in all, we have 14 new component locators that we added. And the previous update to this was the one when we first added component locators. We actually went back and updated those. So there was 13 of those. So we have a total of 27 or 30-ish component locators. We're adding 10 to 15 to 20-ish a month is kind of the expectation you can have from us. And the other thing is wiring diagrams. So again, I can use the same engine as an example. Um, it's asking me what year do I want to pick for my wiring diagram. I'll pick 2013 and newer. And we've really gone back and enhanced these wiring diagrams. We felt they needed a little bit more detail information in these things. So <clears throat> as I go through this, you'll notice now we have a, a little bit better symbols over here. Uh, some are kind of generic looking before, so we went back and updated those. <clears throat> and we just tried to make sure everything was 100% correct, accurate, whenever possible, and looks awesome no matter what you're looking on. Uh, International Cat, Cummins, Detroit, Mac, Volvo, they're all going to look the same. I can tell you as of today with this last update, this last update we added 71 updated wiring diagrams that we went back and enhanced to make a little bit better. And we also added 36 new wiring diagrams. So kind of the pace you'll find from us is around that 80 to 100-ish mark per month coming out from diesel laptops on wiring diagrams. And of course we're working on the same thing for the off-highway side as well. So there you go. There is the new version of DTC Solutions. A thing I always want to remind people, if you're ever not sure what version you're on or you want to check, hit this little I button down here. 
It'll tell you right here what version you're on, and you can obviously click the check for update button. And if there is an available update, it'll it'll tell you there, and you can download it. And it will auto remind you every 30 days as well. And the other little helpful tip is you can always hit this little question mark down here, and it'll play a video for you here. And this video is simply just going through showing how to use the software and navigate it and making sure you understand all the functionality that's built into it. So there you go. I hope you enjoy it. We'll keep putting out great updates, and we appreciate the feedback. Thank you, everyone.